Well, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? But it did take quite a lot of experimentation to get there. I'm Patty Murray Smith. I'm Rob's wife. And here at FWG, we know that experimenting is really important. And what we'd like is to get you experimenting and trying things. So you can start with this really easy little rocket to make. I'll talk about the science behind it some other time. At the moment, let's just make the rocket and you can try experimenting and see how you can get it to go. So, an empty water bottle, an empty drinks bottle, good for your recycling as well. Three pens, can be pencils, can be sticks, doesn't really matter. We're just going to make a tripod so that our rocket can stand up. And to do that, I'm going to use some bits of tape. Now I'm using masking tape this time, although I used cello tape last time. But you can, I'm not very good with cello tape. I tend to get it wrapped all around myself. So I've decided this time to use masking tape because it's a little easier to work with. It honestly doesn't matter. I also used a protractor to make sure that my uh, legs were about 120 uh, degrees apart so that they were quite even as I went around. Scientists try to make sure that their measurements are reasonably exact and it will stand up much better if you can get it to go all the way around. Now make sure that when you do it, you're le when you put them on, that you're leaving room here for the cork or whatever you're going to put in at the bottom. So I'm just marking them where they're going to go with some small pieces of tape and then I'm going to wrap around some larger pieces all the way around to make sure that it holds up nice and even. Yeah, lovely. As I said, I'm not particularly good with tape. Uh, you can ask Rob about that. We, uh, we're packing things. I always have to get him to do the, the tape because I, I don't seem to have enough hands and, it, and I end up with it wrapped around my head. I think it helps if you have bigger hands. So I'm just wrapping it around to make sure that they're nice and secure. So that it will stand up. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is to fill the bottle with vinegar. Vinegar is an acid. It's a weak acid, but if you get it on your skin, it can still tingle, so make sure that you wash it off. And please make sure that you wear safety glasses whenever you're working with any sort of chemical. Um, now I'm going to use the little funnel from the kit that we've put together of just some basic lab equipment. It's got litmus paper and test tubes and various things um, to sort of help you to be able to experiment at home. Uh, I should tell you that that's actually available from the Working Ink web shop, www.workinginc.co.uk. And I'm going to fill my bottle halfway with vinegar. I'm told it doesn't matter what kind of vinegar that you use. Uh, the brown vinegar is going to make much more of a mess. Uh, and I think we've found that uh, some of the nicer vinegars do work better, but they're very expensive, so you don't need to spend do anything with that. This one works just fine. All right, so I filled my bottle just about halfway using my funnel. I'm then going to get some tissue paper. We did try paper, uh, kitchen towels, paper towels. We did try uh, just tissue, but we found that this tissue paper, tracing paper, actually works the best for what we're trying to do. So just make a little tube of it and twist the end closed. And then put in about a tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, that's baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda, because it's an alkaline and the alkaline will react with the acid in the vinegar creating carbon dioxide gas as well as water and a salt. And that is what makes your rocket fly into the air. 
Okay, once you've got it filled with about a heaped tablespoon of it, just fold over the end. Don't twist the end of this one. Sorry, I'm not sure that you can see that with that cap. Just twist the end, and then just like we showed you at the beginning, you pop that in the bottle, a cork. I'm actually using a bung from a chemistry flask because I didn't have a cork from a wine bottle down here, but any cork will do as long as it fits in. So you bung that in, put the cork in the top, give it a shake, turn it upside down, and you can see how it flies. So let's look at ours fly again. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye. I hit it! Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>